this is where I wanted to walk today, or where I plan to walk, the Parkland Walk through Haringey. But um, <laughs> as you can see, this entrance here on Green Lanes is, uh, is locked up, so I'm not quite sure how I get in. I think through Finsbury Park. This is the, the Haringey ladder up here, a series of streets that run between Whiteman Road and uh, Haringey Green Lanes. Classic area of London, the new river working its way across. Uh, that's for another day though. It's a great, it's a great area. I lived up here in my last year at Polytechnic. Here's the new river, a regular feature in many of my walks. Run along the, the bottom of Finsbury Park here. Yesterday was uh, officially the first day of spring, I think. Or well, the day before, today's the 3rd of March. London has uh, would have been impossible to uh, ignore, has been attacked by severe weather. In fact, the whole country has been attacked by severe weather, but London usually escapes. But uh, the whole city kind of grounds to a halt for a couple of days. I have enormous affection for this uh, area. Year I spent living in Haringey, the final year as a student. It's one of the finest I had actually as a student. And I spent a lot of time lounging around in Finsbury Park, playing football, or just reading a book, occasionally even having a sleep. <laughs> it's a great park. But I'm not going to dwell too long here because I want to get on the Parkland Walk. So I'm just going to walk across Finsbury Park and pick up the Parkland Walk at the top there. That's interesting. This part of uh, Finsbury Park, it's known as the American Garden, laid out in the uh, 1880s, I believe, or sometime at the end of the 1800s. It says that this time American gardens were uh, popular. There you go, who knew? My favourite bit of uh, Finsbury Park trivia is that. Uh, <laughs> Once the band Madness played a gig here, and when they did well, <laughs> one step beyond, everyone jumped up and down so much that it actually registered on the Richter scale <laughs> as a minor earthquake, and there were cracks in the basements of nearby houses. The, uh, the boating lake is still frozen by the looks of it. So here we have it, the entrance to the Parkland Walk, just the other side of that railway bridge, here at Finsbury Park. So this was originally built as a, as a railway line to link Finsbury Park to Alexandra Palace. I don't know if the train ever went to Alexandra Palace. I might be wrong, I looked that up. I've got a little book at home actually, which I can never find when I plan to do this walk. And it's called, uh, the rails to the people's palace or the railway to the people's palace but it's been a, a little parkland walk for a while now i think it's one of the most uh, requested walks actually however i don't know if i'm going to walk the whole way along here because after a while you kind of get the picture don't you and uh, they say this is the longest nature reserve in london it's about i think it's about four and a half miles long the whole way Gonna be a very slushy walk today, look, look at this. This must have been like a, a narrow gauge railway. I'm sure there's some railway enthusiasts that could uh, provide the, <laughs> the actual technical information. So we're passing through, I think Stroud Green now, that's Fern Park Road down there. I do like this area. Real Shaun of the Dead territory up here. Well, this is a handy guide to the thing, so we entered here. We've come through and we're here now. There I am. Well, looks like the 
the thaw hasn't actually got into this uh, stretch of the parkland walk. It seems quite icy up ahead. So, I was walking along the path and walk that the, uh, the famous horror author Stephen King had a mystical experience. Somewhere around here, I think, because he was staying with a friend in Crouch End. And he was got really spooked walking along here early one morning, possibly when it was still a bit gloomy. And it became the subject of a short story. And uh, as I've mentioned in a previous video and written about quite extensively in my book, this area is kind of rich with stories of the supernatural and the undead, everything from Stephen King experience through to <laughs> the amazing Zomcom, Shaun of the Dead, Highgate Vampire, lots of other stories as well. So they seem to attach themselves to this area here, Hornsey. Crouch End, Highgate, Muswell Hill. See the, the gruesome crimes of Dennis Nielsen, the serial killer. I really wish I could skateboard. So this is obviously one of the old station platforms. It's actually quite nice to see a little bit of the snow surviving. It's forecast to rain tomorrow, so this will all be gone by Monday. So here we are, some actual history of the Parkland Walk. So it, uh, it opened in 1867, which is remarkable. And it did run to Arizona, Japan, there you go, in 1873. And you can see down here that the services to Alexandra Palace ceased in 1954. And uh, you can see the Parkland Walk opened in 1984. So here we go, around the Capitol Ring, rival to the London Loop, south to uh, Woolwich Foot Tunnel, that would be. That would be quite a walk. Well, Richmond Bridge is 26 and a half miles from here. Hmm. I think Highgate Wood might be my uh, end point today. This is a real winter wonderland here, isn't it? This is a good place for Stephen King to have had his mystical experience. I can imagine sort of hobbits and elves lurking around in the bushes here, rustling around in the holly. So here's our little handy map, and there I am, Stanhope Road near the end. Look, just bumped into Matt. Hi. On the parkland walk, Matt claims to have watched nearly every video I've ever made. So just now, about, I think. Now we're going to test him. <laughs> 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 and whilst I'm talking here to Matt, it's reminded me to give a shout out to Frankie. Frankie's ten years old and came up to me in the pub, that sounds wrong, that does sound wrong. <laughs> Yeah, and said hello and that she loves my videos, which I was really flattered by. So hi Frankie, sorry I didn't do this earlier. Oh, it was really lovely to bump into somebody who watches the videos. Always like that, occasionally people come up to me in the pub, or in the street, or at the tube station, on the tube, at rush hour. Um, yeah, it's always nice to talk to people, you know. So uh, thanks for Matt for saying hello, and all the other people who have said hello. It's not that much further to go now. And then um, decide what to do next. I might continue on through uh, Queenswood to Muswell Hill perhaps. Let's see. 
So this is the end by the looks of it. Although I think the path does end here, is the tunnel of what I guess must have been the line up to Alexandra Palace. I suppose that tunnel must be blocked up. I bet that's uh, a haunt of urbexes. Wow, this is a real kind of temple in the jungle, a subterranean refuge in the city. Let's have a look. Oh, it does look like it's a thing, look. Oh, it's a bat project, look at that. So the tunnels. Ah, so if there are any urbexes who attempted, don't do it. It's a, like a bat sanctuary. What a fantastic use for these old tunnels. So I was wrong about the Parkland Walk. It's fantastic. Not in the least bit boring. Really glad I finally got round to uh, doing that for a video. And now to decide where to go next. So I'm here at Highgate Tube Station. I'm going to carry on up the road and go along here now, either through Queenswood or Highgate Wood. Yeah, into Highgate Wood feels like the natural thing to do. This is a more Corporation of London land like uh, Epping Forest and Burnham Beaches. So Highgate Wood is part of the ancient forest of Middlesex, which covered an enormous area, a lot of which now is Essex and Hertfordshire. And this is one of the remnants. So Highgate Wood is one of many places where we found evidence of uh, Iron Age usage. And I think they found uh, pottery here, indicated that maybe this had been a site where they'd made pottery around the time of the Roman conquest. So this is a replica of a Romano-British pot like the ones that were found here. Right, so this is interesting. I'm here now. If you look over here, which is the direction I was heading anyway. Oh, I do like good ancient earthwork. Should be pretty easy to spot, shouldn't it? Drinking fountain. And just after that. Okay. So we're here and we want to go that way. There's a little squirrel there rummaging around. I hope he manages to find something to eat. So here's the, uh, the drinking fountain. The date is 1888. Sort of unnecessarily shaped as an obelisk. But the old Victorians, they were obsessed with all that Egyptology and stuff, weren't they? I'm not 100% sure. I think this bank here could be the uh, ancient earthwork that was marked on the map. It seems to line up. Also, I start to climb a quite a steep hill, which seems too big. That tree seems to be planted on the outer bank. They say uh, in Wikipedia they're not sure whether this is um, part of a medieval deer enclosure, or it could even be an older, sort of prehistoric system, either defensive or a boundary marker. Either that, or well, this big hill is part of it, which is a very steep bank up through the wood. So now I think I'll just go along to Muswell Hill Broadway. It used to be one of my favourite places in London once upon a time. I wonder what I'll make of it now. It's quite a fine kind of modernist art decory type building, isn't it? Here on Muswell Hill Broadway. What a 
a beautiful old cinema. Every man was well here. I think there used to be an Odeon. I mean, this feels like the end of the walk, doesn't it? I'm gonna find, I can smell chips. I'm gonna follow that smell, find a bag of chips and find somewhere warm to uh, have a cup of coffee and head home. Thanks for coming on this walk with me. It's been a real pleasure. See you on the next one. The next station is Haringey Green Lanes.